Okay, in example four, I have mixed expressions and a complex fraction. The way to handle this is to first get rid of this mixed expression. I want to turn this into a rational expression up here and down here so that then I'm just working with the complex fraction. So let's take care of the numerator first. 2x minus 10 over x minus 3. In order to make this a rational expression instead of a mixed expression, I'm going to multiply 2x over, which is really 2x over 1, times x minus 3. I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator times x minus 3. This is going to give me 2x squared minus 6x over x minus 3 minus 10 over x minus 3, which is then going to come out to 2x squared minus 6x minus 10 over common denominator of x minus 3. I'm just subtracting. So first, I was dealing with the numerator. So my, now I'm going to write my new numerator up here, which is just a, a rational expression of 2x squared minus 6x minus 10 all over x minus 3. Okay, so I took care of that. Now I need to work with the denominator. The denominator I will do right here is another mixed expression 3x plus 5 over x minus 2. Well I need to multiply the numerator of 3x which is really 3x over 1 times x minus 2 over x minus 2. When I do that I'm going to end up with two rational expressions that I need to add and they're going to have the same denominator. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x minus times negative 2 is negative 6x over x minus 2 plus 5 over x minus 2. Okay, now that I've done that, I can add because I have a common denominator. 3x squared minus 6x plus 5 all over x minus 2. So I simplified the complex, the uh, mixed expression in the numerator. That's right there. Now I simplified the mixed expression in the denominator to get this rational expression, which is 3x squared minus 6x plus 5 all over x minus 2. The last thing I'm going to do is simplify this rational expression. Now, remember that this rational expression, that this uh, complex fraction. I'm going to simplify the complex fraction. And I'm going to do that by taking the numerator, 2x squared minus 6x minus 10 over x minus 3, and multiplying it by the reciprocal of the denominator. So that's going to give me x minus 2 over 3x squared minus 6x plus 5. Okay, next thing is to do some factoring, see if I can simplify this, because we've got a, a lot of expressions here. Well, this could be, uh, 2 could be factored out, 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 times x minus 2, okay? Divided by x minus 3 times 3x squared minus 6x plus 5. So I was able to pull that 2 out, and you'll actually find if you try to factor these out, you could definitely, you should try, you should go through that whenever you have a problem to see if you can simplify. But it turns out that even though this is a pretty messy looking long expression, it actually cannot be simplified any further. So I started out with this, which had both mixed expressions and complex fractions. 
I first got rid of the mixed expression in the numerator and the mixed expression in the denominator. And once I did that, I rewrote it as such so that now it's just a complex fraction. And I multiplied this rational expression by the reciprocal of the other rational expression, pulled out the two, but other than that, this really cannot be further simplified. So this is what you would end up with after simplifying, but at least you met your goal of eliminating the complex fraction and the mixed expression. That concludes this session of educator.com. I'll see you next time.